What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to WWE 12, The Road to WrestleMania. Yesterday, a full-on WCW invasion. Let's see how that progresses today. Happy New Year, and welcome to Monday Night Raw. Michael Cole and Jerry the King Lawler here in King. It's a new year, but it certainly seemed like the clock was turned back last night at Clash of the Champions, where just 24 hours ago, former WCW stars attacked John Cena and Rey Mysterio. Yeah, and one of those WCW guys happens to be our new general manager, Kevin Nash. And no word yet on the condition of Cena or Mysterio. But here comes Randy Orton. Hopefully he can shed some light on what's happening. They also attacked Jacob Cass, just putting that out there. Kevin Nash, I don't know what you and your accomplices are up to. But thanks to your actions, Rey Mysterio will be out of action for several weeks. And the doctors aren't sure when, or even if, John Cena will return. Yay! God, I mean, me, oh. I just don't know what I did myself. You were sore. This is just a joke to me, is it? Cena had eight hours of surgery, and you find this hilarious? Yeah, I actually am having fun. Thanks for asking. But I hate to be the only one to join the party. So this is what I'm going to do. Thanks to certain contractual obligations, I'm still general manager of Raw and SmackDown. At this year's Royal Rumble, the winner will receive Cena's vacated World Heavyweight Championship. What do you want, Nash? What do I want? That's a good question, Randy. But for now, it's not about what I want. It's what you want. And I know you want to be the World Heavyweight Champion again. So did everybody? You're right, Nash. I do want something from you. To punt your face in. Ooh. The legend killer. That doesn't fit in my schedule. I'm a little busy, you know. But I can have someone else address your concerns. Oh, it's time. Also, where am I in this whole situation? Shouldn't I come out to help Randy Orton and make it a tag team match play up? Holla holla. The WCW legends are out. The WWE superstars are taking more. Then go. Johnny Mundo. Johnny Impact. Choke slammed onto the concrete. Oh, hi. Over, Vader. How's it going? Welcome to a fine... Uh, what is today? Friday? It's Friday. The pixels tonight will be super hot. Super hot. On this fine Friday evening. I guess look forward to that in a couple of hours. But we have many, many things to discuss here in the world of wrestling. And if you, like me, were trying to get your tickets to the G1 Supercard, that Ring of Honor New Japan thing at Madison Square Garden this morning. They're sold out. They're gone. They're done. Now, I have some advice. If you live in the tri-state area, right, if you live in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, the way that scalpers usually work on sites like StubHub, wait until the day before the show and check the prices. Because I know last year that... NXT show uh, in Brooklyn, the day before, you can get seats for like 20 bucks. Because, obviously, if their scalped seats don't sell, the scalpers don't make any money. So, day before, prices drop significantly as they're trying to unload those tickets. That is my word of advice if you are local uh, in the area. So, I'm going to wait. I'll see how it goes. But right now, nosebleeds on StubHub are like 100 bucks. Not I'm not going to pay 100 bucks for nosebleeds. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. So, but in any event, for a historic show, congratulations to Ring of Honor and New Japan. They sold out the garden. That's awesome. Boom, Vader. It is no longer Vader time. We are three weeks out from the Royal Rumble, and up next is a Rumble qualifying match. Yeah, and despite his recent actions, Kevin Nash is, in fact, still general manager. So what he says goes around here. And what he said last week, King, is the winner of this year's Royal Rumble will win the World Heavyweight Championship, vacated by the injured John Cena. Kofi Kingston, weren't you Jamaican? Nah, you was just faking. Anyway, uh, elsewhere in yonder news, we have the historic, speaking of historic, we have the historic 
bit of business on Raw this week, which will be Renee Young on commentary the whole show, replacing Coachman for one night of guest commentary. So I'm assuming they appreciated the work she is doing on the May Young Classic. So congratulations for Renee being the first woman ever to be calling an entirety of Monday Night Raw. Cool stuff. And honestly, anybody, I would take, at this point, anybody over Coachman and his word of the hour guard. I get Coachman out of there. He's terrible. So we'll see how it goes on Monday Night Raw. Now then, speaking of the CM Punk t-shirt my character here is wearing, speaking of CM Punk, back in the news, and so is Colt Cabana. Because Colt Cabana is suing CM Punk for legal fees related to that last lawsuit they just finished settling like a month and a half ago. So, apparently, how the story goes is that CM Punk said he would cover the entirety of their legal fees for that thing, and at some point during the course of that CM Punk told Cabana he would be paying half. Now, that four years of legal fees is half a million dollars. So half of that is 250 grand, which I don't care how big of an independent wrestler you are, that's a ridiculous amount of money, right? So basically, Punk's like, you're on your own. So Cabana had gotten new lawyers, like halfway into that case, and so Cabana is suing Punk for 200 grand in actual fees to recuperate plus a million in punitive damages, and it's a whole, it's a whole mess. So, that might be another four years, that this, this whole thing from that one podcast is ridiculous. And I can kind of see where Cole's coming from, right? Because had he taken down the podcast when he was requested to have it taken down in the first place, then they wouldn't have gotten sued. But Punk's like, no, keep the podcast up, it needs to be heard, and that's how this whole original lawsuit happened with the doctor in the first place so yeah just weird stuff and obviously obviously they're not friends anymore so yeah that whole thing is just a bummer so that kind of makes their stuff at all in a little bit awkward because we know cm punk is signing autographs the day before all in and cole cabana is going to be in the, the battle royal at all in so a little awkward there you guys chicago all that good stuff so Elsewhere, we have another confirmed match for the Super Showdown in Australia. It will be John Cena versus Kevin Owens. So, again, we've already gotten Triple H and Taker announced. So, how much of this show is another glorified, gigantic house show? Much like the greatest Royal Rumble was. Just, it's a big house show that has no bearing on current storylines and their matches to have matches. Or at least, that's how it looks on paper right now. Like, hey, perhaps they'll have a thing happen between now and then, but on paper, it looks like a big house show. So, those guys have had great matches in the past, so I would hopefully expect a great match from them again. But does this mean anything for SummerSlam? Like, when you assume what's on the line for Kevin Owens at SummerSlam, does it actually mean anything for him to be facing John Cena at this show in October? Like, I don't know. Does it mean that he's not going to win the... The briefcase, and or not win the belt if he wins the briefcase. Like, that's where I'm a little confused. But, again, we'll see. Uh, kind of all up in the air, as far as fans are concerned, because we have no idea. We're not booking these shows. So, there is that. Kofi, Mon. Kofi, I don't want to get hit with that trouble in paradise. Anyway, uh, also, we found out that John Cena will be facing Seth freaking Rollins at their show in China on the 1st of... September. So, Cena, out there getting it done. Having some great matches, etc. etc. Or at least, on paper, great matches. So, signature! Kofi's fired up! I wanted to go to the top, and I didn't get to the... No, Kofi, no! That was not my intention to happen. Big ol' arm drag. But, he is not at level where he has a finisher. So, circle! I hit circle! It didn't... No, X... Nope. Now Kofi has a second shirt. And now we're gonna get hit with this. Nope. Haha. How about a brain buster? If I can manage to wait, that wasn't a what happened? Where'd my finisher go? I thought I what? Since when? His shoulders are down. Did he reverse it? Don't matter. It don't matter. Oh,
Doomsday device. Rarrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr